Shemuel Rishon, 1 Samuel 16. And Yahuwah said unto El Shemuel, How long will you mourn for El Shaul, seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Yashrael? Fill your horn with oil and go. I will send you to Yash rather Yishai, the Beit Hal Lachmi, for I have provided me a king among his sons. And Shemuel said, How can I go? If Shaul hear it, he will kill me. And Yahuwah said, Take a heifer with you and say, I am come to sacrifice to Yahuwah. And call Yishai to the sacrifice, and I will show you eth what you shall do. And you shall anoint unto me eth him whom I name unto you. And Shemuel did eth that which Yahuwah spoke, and came to Beit Lechem. And the elders of the town trembled at his coming and said, Come you peaceably? And he said, Peaceably, I am come to sacrifice unto Yahuwah. Sanctify yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. And he sanctified Eth Yishai and Eth his sons and called them to the sacrifice. And it came to pass when they were come that he looked on Eth Eliav and said, Surely Yahuwah's anointed is before him. But Yahuwah said unto El Shemuel, Look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For Yahuwah sees not as man sees, for man looks on the outward appearance, but Yahuwah looks on the heart. Then Yeshai called Avinadav and made him to pass before Shemuel, and he said, Neither has Yahuwah chosen this. Then Yeshai made Shama to pass by, and he said, Neither has Yahuwah chosen this. And again Yeshai made seven of his sons to pass for, rather before Shemuel. And Shemuel said unto Yeshai, Yad Yahuwah has not chosen these. And Shemuel said unto Yeshai, Are here all your children? And he said, There remains yet the youngest, and behold, he keeps the sheep. And Shemuel said unto Yeshai, Send and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he come hither. And he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy, and withal of a beautiful countenance, and goodly to look to. And Yahuwah said, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. Then Shemuel took eth the horn of oil, and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the Ruach Yahuwah came upon El David from that day forward. So Shemuel rose up and went to Ramah, but the Ruach Yahuwah departed from Shaul, and an evil Ruach from Yahuwah troubled him. And Shaul's servants said unto him, Behold now, an evil Ruach from Elohim troubles you. Let our Lord now command your servants, which are before you, to seek out a man who is a cunning player on a harp, and it shall come to pass, when the evil Ruach from Elohim is upon you, that he shall play with his hand, and you shall be well. And Shaul said unto his servants, Provide me now a man that can play well, and bring him to me. Then answered one of the servants and said, Behold, I have seen a son of Yishai, the Beit Halachmi, 
that is cunning in playing, and a mighty valiant man, and a man of war, and prudent in matters, and a comely person, and Yahuwah is with him. Wherefore Shaul sent messengers unto Yishai, and said, Send me Eth David your son, which is with the sheep. And Yishai took an ass laden with bread, and a bottle of wine, and a kid, and sent them by David his son unto El Shaul. And David came to El Shaul, and stood before him. And he loved him greatly, and he became his armor-bearer. And Shaul sent to Yishai, saying, Let David, I pray you, stand before me, for he has found favor in my sight. And it came to pass, when the evil Ruach from Elohim was upon El Shaul, that David took eth a harp and played with his hand. So Shaul was refreshed and was well, and the evil Ruach departed from him.